Hey there everyone and welcome back to Rome 2. Last time we had the first look at this game. Now we're gonna play the full campaign. Gonna make a little let's play of this. Gonna take Macedonia. As you can see, they have a few traits. Alexander's legacy, successor con conflicts. Um I'm not sure what are Hellenic factions. Wait, maybe Hellenic faction factions are one of these. I have no clue. Um, Hellenic factions might be the above ones. Uh, I don't really know history, so I could actually choose uh, many, many tribes. But I'm gonna go for Macedonia because it's well, the coolest one, I guess. I'm gonna go for normal because the initial challenge is also normal. Um, I got some, some bonuses. Yeah, major diplomatic penalty with all Hellenic factions. So I will now know who shall attack, and it will be the Hellenic Hellenic factions. Well, I get to pronounce that. The all right, finally. Tylus in particular is a problem and must be kept in check. All right. The Athenians continue to resent your rule. All right, I get it. I get it. Kick everyone's ass, basically. All right. So what I really don't like about this is that I can. Barely zoom out, though. Um, Shogun two had the same problem. It wasn't such, so much of a problem actually. Um, now I see that. I'm not really sure if this is like the explored map, but I can see their armies. I know Sparta has a few armies. I know uh, Athens have a few armies. Um, technically, you see these guys, Larissa. Who are these guys? Province Macedonia. What? Well, I have no clue. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna have to go for Navis Sauce. Wait, where the hell is the city? What the hell? I can't see. What the hell is this? Is this like a little tribe place? Oh, it's a camp. A small settlement. Alright. So, Pulpudiva. <laughs> Strange name, but. Alright, I actually have quite a massive fleet. I'm gonna send them exploring here because I'm gonna try to focus uh, on taking out this Nav Visos place. You have select um Atea. Hmm. It's a nice little canal here. Um should I go for Atea or should I go for the small settlement? Because I do not have such a large army, I believe. Right. In order to move the entire force, make sure a general is present. Select the settlement or the general and right click on the point you wish to move to. When you Yeah, I, I get that. Alright, so here are the cities. Ah, the cities building selections. Quite strange. Expand city. Oh, I can expand my city? I'm not really sure what the hell does that do, but. My skills are yours. I'm guessing something good. Now I'm really not sure why the hell are the interfaces so so low graphic. Like Shogun 2 had the really high graphics and everything. Anyways, I'm gonna head for Navisos and see if it's actually a small city. No, don't say that. Just come near. Oh, she has a horse. As the Greek ones. Right. So it's a little. Hmm, barbarian, I guess. Barbarian tribe. Um, I'm really unsure if I should attack. If I should attack them, or should I um go for a bigger city? At your hmm. command. I have some hoplites. I have some javelin men. Command. Here I have. Oh, I have some uh, companion cavalry. Some javelin men. I can disband. All right, they're actually uh, upgrades and retraining abilities. I'm gonna. Um, we cannot do that. Move them here. Oh, if I move here, then I declare battle. What? Oh, I guess it's the first turn. The road system within a region will improve as prosperity increases. Better quality roads increase the movement range yeah, of the armies I, I get and that. agents. Who for some reason, I removed the entire army from the city. At your command. Can I leave some men? I guess I can. Ready for, is that no, what? Why? Why the hell am I? 
I didn't actually want to uh, remove the entire army. I selected a few. Oh, you can see some of the generals. Other families. Like, it's the same as, um, oh, I can assassinate. Oh, crap. Whatever. Um. Visit the settlement. You these are my cities or are these my allies? I'm actually guessing these are my allies as I saw from the short intro with Sparta. Um, diplomacy. Sparta, I'm actually a defensive ally. Oh, I know a lot of people actually. Um, holy crap, look at this map. Wow. That's quite a lot. Um, then I'm gonna focus on Greek. I mean, Greece. Hellas. Alright. Tribali. These guys are Tribali. These guys are Tylus. Um, Drisian Kingdom. Alright, so. Epirus, I'm. Hmm. I'm a. Uh, your current state. I have no clue what does this state mean. Defensive ally, yeah, I'm, me and Sparta are allies. Uh, Athens, I'm guessing it's just my simple ally. Uh, Epirus, I guess it's. I get nothing. Um, let's go for the inventions, technology. I'm gonna go for civil and start, start unlocking the civil tree. I want a strong economic, actually. I'm, I'm thinking there's an um, economic victory here, as well as a domination victory. Now, um, let's see, I can trade a lot of... I mean, I can make a lot of hoplites. Develop land, you can create new construction sites here. Where? Expand city. Hmm, three turns. Helen, city... No, minus two, but I want a normal city. Hmm. There's nothing good that I could make, actually. I'm gonna... Um, hell, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna expand the city, maybe? Oh, I can do a lot. Musterfield. Outskirts. Agora. Some of these new technologies. Um. How do I cancel this? I have no clue. I honestly have no fucking clue. Right. Why won't just click? Anyways, let's stop pissing around. Let's check this city out. Troops can be stationed inside I have five the settlement grand. to defend it in the event of attack. Whilst there, they will also act as a deterrent to any rebellious tendencies amongst oh, the population. Oh, what the hell? Look at that massive city. Holy shit. It was like a little settlement. This entire outskirt just grew here. Awesome. So, it didn't cost me a single penny? What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna make this. Okay, now, three turns. Tracia, what the hell are these things? Like, I, can, I know there are uh, other factions. But I have no clue. What they are. Is this like a um, region? And these are the regional cities? Whatever, we'll find out. Okay, so. Um, did I see anything to build? I, I'm guessing this uh, opens up a slot where I can actually make a building. So, I really want a farm. Uh, workshop, tra training field, Australian aqueduct. What are the farms? Consecrated grounds. No, I want farms. Where the hell are the farms? I don't have farms. I, I might need a bigger city for farms or something. It's just too small. No, it actually... Sh the smaller the city, the more farms. I mean, like, if it's a small city, like a little village, well, I can't say this is a village, it's a fucking empire. Um, I should have more, actually. That's all I'm trying to say. 
Um, what is a muster field? Repair cost enables building chain spark description running points. This isn't subjects. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? This unlocks units? Yeah, it enables units. I, I don't really need units at the moment, though I actually would like some levy pikemen. I would use a city port. I do not have enough money. Um, what is an Agor? I have to do so much reading on this game. A public order... It doesn't say a description of what the fuck an Agora is. Building chain. Oh, so there are different building chains. All right. Um. This Wikipedia is completely useless. Honestly, like literally fucking useless. Normally, you just mouse over to tell you what the fuck does it do. Oh, here yeah, it's on my left corner. Heart of Hellic City is the Agora was. Place of politics. No, nope, it's a place of politics. Just tell me it's a goddamn place of politics and I'll know what the fuck it is. This is that hard. God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for the fishmongers. At your command. Uh, fuse this army. These awesome generals. These nice helmets. I'm gonna merge these two armies make haste, and send make general back. Um. Also, they've introduced a really amazing new feature of how to make armies. You can't just click make army, you have to click on raise forces. Um, and here, these are the available generals. So I'm gonna take... This guy looks pretty nice. Um, you can even make a fleet if it's a um, coastal city, or you can make an army. Right. So now I should select bodyguard units. Um, I'm gonna always take the fucking companion cavalry. Recruit. Alright. And make him enter the city. It did cost me quite, quite a lot, but this way I won't have to send uh, any more men back. I can recruit more. So now, once you have your general, you click on him. Recruit units. I should make a separate video making a guide on this, but first I should uh, learn a bit more about this game. So. Yeah. Uplights. I don't even need to open the wiki, I can just see everything right here. Right, so Levy Pikemen. The most offensive ones are Hoplites. Their meal attack is actually double the Levy ones. Um, weapon damage, charge. Holy shit, you have a large charge bonus. Meal defense, armor, health. These guys are like double better at everything. Literally double better. Um, militia hoplites. Well, they're not too bad, but though they're better than the levy pikemen. Slingers, Jalen. I actually want archers. What should I do to get archers? Does this game have archers? I damn it! Manual, tutorial, um, characters, units. Yeah, units. Um. Artillery, fixed artillery, shock cavalry. So many goddamn categories. Um, I guess it count. Archers count as artillery. Field artillery. No, these are ballistas. Fixed art alter. No. Oh, missile. How the fuck did I miss that? Here go archers. Now why can't I make goddamn archers? It's not available to me. What do you mean it's not available to me? I saw that on the naval battle um, that I did a video on the the people had uh, what how are you called uh, some guys over here in the mountains they had like archer ships. So if they can have archer ships, then they should have uh, missile units. Anyways, let's end the turn here. I'm gonna. Move my two units and see what I can do. It, the city doesn't have walls, so it shouldn't be quite. What the hell just happened? I don't understand what the hell is going on here. 
Why are you showing me your... Oh, I g I'm guessing there's a setting to um, not show... Um... Holy crap, there are a lot of factions. Look at that! What the hell? Okay, war targets available. Who is my war target? Thanks to the recent you can now suggest target your allies. Oh, I can uh, suggest my allies to target someone. I read it completely wrong. And they also spread the city to a nice little mine. Right, let's let's Ready merge this shit. Advance. At your command. Okay. Take these guys. Ready and you get back to the city. Call this a garrison. There people need you. Get, get back. Oh, he's out of movement. Alright, so I have to actually set up. Um, so I wouldn't... Wouldn't have to see... Oh, here we go, CPU moves. This is always enabled for a new game on Rome 1, so I figured... That should be the same for uh, Rome 2. Alright, so should I start a battle? No, I, I shouldn't. I can see that their unhappiness is pretty shit. Not sure what does the uh, Omega sign stand for. Omega 98%. Or is that a horseshoe? Who cares? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want more, please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment. Maybe you want some guides. Maybe you want to see something about the game. Tell me. Anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.